The S7 is still up there in terms of the best smartphones out there, so today we're going to be taking a look at 5 things Samsung did right with the Galaxy S7. I might also be making a 5 things they did wrong very soon, so let me know if you want to see that. So starting off with something that makes me extremely happy, it's the waterproofing. Seriously, everyone needs to do this with their phones, and the S7 is IP68 rated, so it is only designed for protection, but as long as you don't do anything crazy like go swimming with it, you're going to be completely fine. This is great for when you accidentally drop it, but for me, it's more like having the peace of mind that you can be a bit less careful with your phone. You want to get that awesome shot of the waterfall, but you're scared of water damage? Not anymore. Obviously, that's not a daily issue we encounter, but still pretty dope to have. Next up, something that I thought they did really well, which they always do every single year, it's the screen. The screen comes in at 2560 by 1440 which is actually pretty common for the huge flagships out there, but this AMOLED display really steps it up to its own level of awesomeness when it comes to Android smartphones. With this AMOLED screen, you're also getting an always-on display, which is awesome. The screen is great for doing pretty much anything you could want it to do, and it's pretty impressive how this phone's battery still holds strong even with this display. I would include the battery in this top 5 list, but there are other things that I want to include, so let's just count that as an honourable mention. Now the camera is also something Samsung did extremely well with the S7, and as you'd expect, because this is a high-end flagship. This camera is definitely top of the line material, beaten only by the likes of the Google Pixel, which is understandable, but still you'll have no issues using the S7 for anything camera related. It's got a very fast shutter speed and autofocus is also great, putting all of that together plus its overall quality, it's an awesome camera. So something that I really think counts for a lot is the design. I made a review on the S7 Edge, which you can see by clicking the I in the top right now, and I have to say that when it comes to design, the S7 Edge is definitely top 3 material of all time so far. Uh, now with both of these phones carrying pretty much the same design, it comes as no surprise that I love what they've got going on with the S7. It's got a pretty much full glass design which looks amazing for this phone and it feels great in the hand. Without the edge it can even be easier to use for some people which is a huge plus. I'd also recommend that you check out my S7 Edge review if you're considering buying this phone so do check it out and feel free to come back to this one once you're done. And lastly, we've got the heart rate sensor. Now, it's kind of surprising to me that most phones don't carry this feature, and it always seems to go unnoticed, which kind of bothers me. This is actually a pretty cool piece of tech, and with the streamlined design, considering all of the specs they've packed into this phone, I think it's really impressive that they managed to include this with the phone. This can measure all sorts of different things, like your heart rate and stress levels, and this phone also comes with the S Health app, which again, is actually pretty good. But guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to check out my S7 Edge review if if you haven't already and with that thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video or if it's helped you out at all make sure to slap that like button subscribe if you're new around here and i'm out peace you just need a something i can show you my world we can go through it all you you just leave it up